person has to realize that work is supposed to be done at work. And in the old days, old, old, before, of course, we had a phone, there was times and periods of our life, and that's where there was peace of mind. There was praying time, and then there was learning time, and then there was work time, and then there was family time, and then there was learning time. Today, because of the phone, and because our businesses are on our phone all the time, it's one big chunk, and everything is mixed in together. When I'm praying, I'm working. And when I'm working, I'm chilling with my friends also at the same time. And when I'm learning, I'm working with my emails. And my family has nothing to do with my family anymore. As we know, we see the family dinners in the restaurants. Every guy is on their phone. There's no time. And there's no separate time. Work takes us over all the time. Person, if they're not busy, they try to show that they're busy, they try to feel like they're busy. And we know those guys. They always talk about it. Hey, relax, we know you're not busy. And <laughs> second of all, even if you are busy, your mind is going to become one big balagan. Everywhere you go, everywhere you see, you're working, you're this emails every second. Every second of your life, every second where you're waking hour. Number one, it hurts your peace of mind. You need to be at peace. You need to learn when you're supposed to learn. That means phone's out. When you're praying, I'm praying. And when you're working, you're working. But it has to be as much as you can. When you're with your family, the married guys know, you're with your family, phone's out. And I was telling you, when I, when I call my, one of the guys, and like, they text me, can I call you back, I'm eating with my wife, they just got slaughtered. I go, what do you tell, why, why are you answering my text? How do you know I'm calling you? Your phone should be away. When it's wife time, it's wife time. When it's family time, it's family time. If not, there's no way to focus. Your mind is going to be one big balagan. And then it's just, there's no way to grow. Your rules have to be, again, I'm not telling you kiss the phone forever. Obviously, we all need it. But at least, I tell you guys, at least when you're, when you're doing something, when you're in shul, when you're learning, why, why? Why well, you need it then? Guys answering emails in the middle of Chazara, come on. If not, if that way, you can't wait another 20 minutes, like it's so urgent. So a person has to have his separate times, his separate slots. And again, we're not saying don't work, work. And when you work, don't talk to every, you know, the guy has the computer over here and the phone over here at the same time. He's talking to, talking to the thing. Well, that's, not, that's not work either. Focus on what you're supposed to focus on. And then you'll do everything better. You'll work better, you'll learn better, you'll pray better, everything will be better. But when you have emails that are answered every second on the spot, come on. It's no way. Now, oh, China is uh, emailing you and you have to talk. Okay, so give a slot from uh, 9 30, 10.30 to 11. I'm looking at my emails at night. From 8.30 to 9 before I go to school, half an hour, I'm looking at my Whatever it is. But it's not, at least you have slots for it. You have a lot of times. It's not all over the place. 